How's it going everyone? My name is Zombie Peter and welcome back to Bad Dream Coma. So as you can probably tell, I've been feeling sick these past few days, although I'm feeling a little better now. So let's go ahead and play some games because the best way to make your voice feel better is to scream a lot, right? Right, totally. So here we are at the apartment and I mean, all we have is this creepy clown from last chapter just going on an adventure with us. Oh, how about some mail? Can we open that with a crowbar? No? Can we put the creep... We can't even do anything with the creepy clown. We just click on it and it, it does that. That's... That, okay. I'm, I'm glad that we have you along with us. And you're probably not going to give us nightmares and the wiser blood on the ground. And, and dead birds. But I should just expect that by now. Because if it's not weird, it's about to be. Okay, blood in five. Don't know what that's important for. Probably gonna have to put in some like code here. Open specific boxes and then not other ones. Seems like two is the only one that's locked. We can't go downstairs. Are we gonna need like a pencil to like draw a downstairs or something like that? Because we had an eraser earlier to erase a door. And a note. Electrical service for the residential premises. Number one has been turned off. The service will be restored after paying the overdue bill. So we have no electricity in number one, and number two is locked. Any keys under the floor? Aha, there are keys under the floor mats. So we're just going in here without the lights. We can open up the curtains to get some light in here, though. I urgently need money to continue the treatment. I hope the Tooth Fairy will help me again. If I don't get money quickly, then there's nothing left but belief in magic. Why? I didn't even click you. Why are you laughing? Except just to creep me out even more in this weird world that we're trapped in. Is there anything, just blackness? That, that, that cabinet leads to the void, apparently. So we need to put some teeth under the pillow to pay the overdue electric bill, perhaps? What the fuck just happened? Oh, we just entered a mirror world. This is the opposite of everything. Oh no, it's just somewhere else. We just went to a different room. What's, what? What? Why is this X? Everything else is scribbled out and this guy just has X's on his eyes and mouth. And this is just a big X. Is this the same person? Are we supposed to reorganize this? Put it from like baby to kid? Like, uh, uh, we need to put this in order or something? Oh my god, everything's backwards. Look, menu and stat. I didn't even realize that. Everything's flipped around. Wow, this is weird. Well, we got a button. What's what's the button for? And more. Okay, yep, more drawings. Oh god, it is dark in here. The key fell into the toilet again. How often does that happen that you need to leave a note? Hey, sorry. Drop the key in the toilet again. Can you bring it out? Well, that's enough adventure in this reversed world. Let's go back to our world. Well, everything's back to normal, and I use the term normal very loosely because of all the stuff we've seen here. Just because nothing here is really normal. Ooh, a note, what is this? Elec electricity bill. What are we supposed to do with that? Do we not, we not do anything with that? Okay, can we put the electricity bill in here and a stamp? No. Do we need to put money or something in there? So we have a stamp for it, but we need to put some money or something inside to pay that electric bill and then send it back. Thank you, Creepy Clown, to get the lights back on in here. All right, there has to be something we can do here in the reverse world. Some way we can get some teeth or something. Oh, what? What did that just do? Okay, what? What is? I, I, did we just blow a fuse? What? Now we have less. Now we have no lights on, even in the reverse mirror world. What are we doing right now? We're just making things worse. This is not better. I don't even know how we did that. We just kind of clicked a whole bunch of stuff. I think maybe 
We overloaded it. Well, did that change anything back in the normal world? Ah, okay. So we're replacing a fuse. So does that bring the light? I don't know why we want the lights on here though. Oh, because the bathroom. We're turn. okay, we have lights on the bathroom and the key fell down. Oh, teeth. Wait, why do you have, why do you have teeth in your sink? Well, they said the key fell down the toilet. Can we get it with gloves? No, it doesn't seem we have anything we can get it with right now. But we can go back here, and with these teeth, the tooth fairy can give us some money, right? Do we need to go away and then come back? Ah ha ha! And now we take. Wait, the coin's backwards. Oh, we go into the reverse world, and now the coin is facing the right way. We put the coin in the piggy bank. Now with the coin in the piggy bank, if we go back into the normal world, can we smash the piggy bank open? We can! And we get the, the same coin, just flipped around. Well, can we put the money in here? Yes, our electricity bill, five cents. And then we put this stamp over top, and wait. Oh, we need to sign it, we need like a pen or something. Can we get a pen in this? Ah, oh, there's a pen in this reverse world, or the mirror world. I don't know, I probably should pick one thing and just keep calling it that, but instead I seem to call it, but instead I seem to change it every time I try to say it. So we can put our address here, electricity bill. Okay, not even an address, just electricity bill. Okay, so then we mail this electricity bill and the power should be back on now. Okay, so the power's back on. So now we can go to the bathroom and there's a handwritten note just casually sitting in there. No, it's a board game. I, I don't know what kind of board games you're playing, but I don't think they really kind of are supposed to be stored in the toilet. And we got a plunger. So in this mirror world here, we can use this plunger to get the key and apparently make a giant mess. Did we even get the key? We're, we didn't get the key, where's the key? What is making that banging sound? Oh, we can draw. With the pen, we can go down to the basement and the key should be right there. Because apparently the sewage just gets drained right into the basement. Can we take this hammer, please? No, of course not. Creepy sounds in the basement. Yep, not staying down here. Nope, definitely not. Now what does this key unlock? Can we unlock, oh, we can unlock the mail for number two to get a cassette there was this boom box. Oh my God, what the fuck? Hi, hello, am I supposed to be running away from you? No, we're just trapped in the mirror world now. This this is great. Really glad that we're here. Well, let's listen to what's on this tape. Static. Wait, who's, who's, at, who's at my door? Hello? Note? Help me. And a paper clip. We can pick this door with the paper clip. And we have a key and a dice. Why did we come in here for that? Does this key go to the front door? It does. So where are we going now? And why isn't this backwards? I thought we were in the mirror world. Shouldn't it be on the other side? Oh, because we're in two now. Before we were in one. Wait. What? I'm very confused now. We're in the reverse world, and this is the reverse room of the reverse world. Oh no, okay, so it wasn't taking us to another world, it was just taking us over to room two, which is an exact opposite of here. We need to do something with this table here. Uh, burn it? Nope. Touch it with a glove. Crowbar. The table. Button. Pen. Board game, board game. Yes, now this is us. So we're playing this and now we roll and our button and the button is us. So roll the dice and move four spaces. Move, move there, yes, we, okay, we rolled onto the scarecrow now what is that? Corrector. 
What did we correct? And that's to make sure we don't have the good ending? How is that a bad thing? Wait, what? Am I just... Oh, we're supposed to do that. Okay, roll. And then move two. We just keep, we just keep going. Oh, we need to go all the way through until we don't land on anything bad. Oh, this is gonna take forever. And what is that? Cheater. Okay, well, we're going for the bad ending. So you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna scribble out all these red parts here. Okay, maybe we're not because our pen ran out of ink. So that I guess we'll just keep re-rolling until we get the numbers we need. Wait, who the hell is at the door right now? I am playing a very intense board game. I have no time for socializing. Almost there. And there has been no cheating at all in this whole game. So now we need to go past the boss. We need a three or a six. That is not a three or a six. Although we can use the one. There we go. And skip the boss. And now we make it to the E end. Oh, hey, hello. Who are you? I could ask you the same thing. You don't look like someone with good intents. You'd better not try any tricks or I'll kick you in the nuts. So where did you find this game? I wanted to get rid of it because it seemed dumb to me. So I decided to put it in the toilet, which is probably the only place you can throw something away. We can't afford a computer, so for now, I need to make board games. There's little we can afford. My parents' treatment costs a great deal of money. But if you've already played it, tell me if you like it. I see you improved it, so I suppose you didn't. I knew it's useless. I'll never be a good game designer. Anyway, what are you doing here? Well, now I kind of feel awful. My parents sent you here? I don't know where they are. I'm scared they may already be dead. I'm... I'm worried about them so much. They might have come to our old house, that one by the forest. Can you look for them? I'm too little to go there alone. Anyway, I have to watch the house. You don't need to worry about me. I'm very brave and smart. Dramatic tension. Just go. I'm worried about my parents. And that's the end of chapter 6, where we made a kid feel awful about a game he made. And I think that was the kid who did the whole stopping death thing. He's the one making all the changes to this world. So he might have just a little bit of power we haven't seen quite yet. And we will be heading into chapter 7, Old House. Well, that's going to be the end for now. If you like this video, be sure to let me know by smashing that like button. If you want to say hey, leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching this game. I hope that you enjoyed it. Goodbye for now. Until next time.